this exhibition is the first solo uh, retrospective exhibition of Evelyn Hoffer's work in the UK. A lot of the series that you'll see in the exhibition is defined by the locations in which they were taken. The exhibition spans from the mid-50s to the late 90s. And what we've tried to do here is to give a flavour of her whole practice from, uh, from the early work to uh, the final series that she produced. Evelyn Hofer was born 1922 in Marburg in Germany. She had an older sister and her parents left Germany and um, in 1933 they would also give back their German citizenship due to Hitler. From Switzerland they moved to Spain, so Evelyn and her sister got a very, very good education in Spain. But due to Franco, where both parents were fighting against Franco, they also had to leave Spain again. The family emigrated to um, Mexico in 1942. Evelyn Hofer uh, was working as a photographer professionally in, in Mexico and she would have a recommendation for American magazines and um, she moved over to New York in 46 where she lived ever since. She started to have her first book assignment for uh, the Florence book which was published in 59 and written by Mary McCarthy. So that was the very first book. And then she really um, would do the other books with Faris Bridget, for example, several of, of the books with him. Her practice to work for, for example, for the big book projects was that she would move into those cities and live there. And then she would start to explore the light, the people, architecture, the place, and its specialities. The thing is that for quite a long time she wouldn't take any photo, but she would make precise notes. And finally she would start to make her photos and she had a clear idea what she wanted to be doing. What's interesting is her work was predominantly disseminated through these, these tra you know, photo travel books. So I think that is... Um, relative to her going through a sort of more traditional artist's career route um, through gal the gallery system. In a funny way, although it didn't disseminate her name wider, it disseminated her images much wider. She got assignments from Condé Nast magazines. Um, she photographed for English magazines, for German magazines, and she always could really make her own decision. She really would work uh, very freely. Not only was she shown in the Metropolitan early 60s, which for example included also Richard Everton, but also in early 70s in the Art Institute in, in Chicago. In in middle of the 70s she started to work with Witkin Gallery and that was when she started to produce die transfer photos and photos as we see them here now. What's interesting to think about Hoffa's work, particularly in the 60s, was that this was a time where it felt, culturally it felt there was a lot of change, the civil rights movement was gaining ground, and there was a sense of momentum. And a lot of contemporary photography of the time was really trying to capture that speed. So it was very much a kind of shoot from the hip. Uh, William Klein's work very much on the street capturing these sort of very quick moments and in a sense Hoffa was very much doing the opposite. It doesn't really matter whether she's taking a photograph of an architectural setting or of a, a, a someone standing in their street. Um, there's the same sense of collaboration and same sense of con contemplation between her and the, what she's taking a photograph of.